watching The Amateur Pretzel, and like I said I would last time, I have finished decorating my portal as well as the other side. <laughs> now, we've got, we've got the volcano over here, which I have yet to build, uh, for real. Uh, this was a kind of tricky build because uh, it's such a small scale. It's actually easier to shape a volcano uh, on a large scale, but I did it. Kind of, you can tell it's a volcano at least. And then we've got this corner over here, which represents all the farms and stuff. And then we've just got the sky and some clouds. Um, and then on this side, we've got a big pile of ores. Yeah, so it's all kind of busy and doesn't fit together incredibly well, but it definitely screams Magnar for sure. The volcano, the crops, and the ores. Scream Magna. Oh, and you might be wondering why I'm holding uh, this totem in my hand. And that's because I uh, just participated in a raid, uh, kind of spontaneously. <laughs> uh, so, I guess I'll show you a few clips of that. No time to waste. Jeff's in trouble. Gotta go safe. But the game's laggy, so uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Ooh, let's hope the lag doesn't kill me. Uh-oh, I hear him. I hear him. Okay. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Uh, it looks like the game's going much more smoothly now. At least raiders don't tend to put on the stuff that you drop. So, I shouldn't have to fight any of them to get my gear back. Well, except to pick it up in the first place. But, uh, uh, Jeff is currently in a death loop, and I need to grab some of this gear. Hopefully, it'll be good enough. Thankfully, I can get back over there pretty quick without an issue. Oh, there's one of the guys who killed me. Ooh, snap. Uh-oh. Uh, I hope this doesn't make it worse, but, uh... Ow! Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ow! Snap! Oof. Oof. Okay, I got the Ravager. Alright, put my real chest plate on, my real helmet on, and then go grab the rest of my stuff. Oh! We got another, we got another wave coming, we got another wave coming. Alright. This is my pokey stick, this is my pokey stick. Let's go poke some, uh, illagers. Oh, the Ravager sees me. I better get out of here. Oh! Oh! I mean, he doesn't hurt as much as- Oh! I got a Ravager head! Oh! Oh! That's so cool. Wait, hold on. Well, I mean, I know I'm in the middle of a raid, but... <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, there are Vex! There are Vex! There are Vex! Oh! Honestly, oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, oh very much snap, oh wow, holy cow.
Ooh, ow! Oh no, I'm gonna die. I you. Oof. Okay, his name is last time. Oofy, ouch. Um. Except apparently a little more reckless getting down the hill. Um, actually, maybe a different tactic this time. Because I have a spare elytra in my ender chest. I'll grab that and some rockets. And see if I can, uh, recover my stuff. From, uh, the spot where I died. Because, hopefully, uh, that evoker decided to go back to the village. Oh, but there is a Johnny right there. And I'm wearing no armor. Maybe I lead him away. Ah, perfect. Here's my yard sale. Okay. Now let's get back in there. They found me. They know I've returned. And I can't seem to hit him. Whoa, oh, ouchie. Okay. Okay, yes. Illiters have overrun this village, but we will reclaim it. I'm sorry I have food in my mouth. I will not talk like that anymore. <laughs> oh, there's an evoker right there. There are two evokers right there. Oh, come on. Eh. Yes, I got an evoker. And a witch. Sweet. All right. Ooh. Ooh, that guy hits hard. That guy hits hard. Oh, come on. <gasps> Vex! 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 Angry Vex! Angry Vex! He's angry with me. Ah! Is it still chasing me? Okay. Eh. Oh no! over sweet um <laughs> that went for a really long time oh <laughs> uh, um but i would like to present you with uh the head of uh oh snap there's two of them now whatever one of the vindicators <laughs> who killed you he killed you and then i killed him so there's his head you can have it <laughs> I have, I have another one right here, and also a Ravager head. Yeah. Err. <laughs> uh, we beat the raid! Now that raid was fun, but it is time to start gathering materials to build the volcano that goes in this crater. And it's gonna be. Poor big volcano.
uh, as you can see, I've already got a lava farm going back there. And I've pretty much, just after a few AFK sessions, I've pretty much got all of the lava I need. See, all of these chests are filled, except for this one, because I don't need this one to be filled. But all of these are filled with lava. And the farm's already filled up again. <laughs> but I'm going to take this down pretty soon, because I'm going to have a new lava farm right there in the crater of the volcano. But there are a few materials left that I need. Now, along with that lava, I've got a whole bunch of black stone and basalt, and also a bunch of black terracotta. And all this terracotta right here, I need to dye into gray terracotta. And we've got this stuff. Um, yeah, but I still need a bunch of black concrete, and I also need to dye this terracotta gray. So, um, one more thing. I need uh, more of that glow like and stuff. So, um, I've already traded uh, Jeff, who's the mayor of Earth and Stone, I traded him for some sand and gravel to make some black concrete. So what I need to do now is to get all the black dye, and I'm going to do that by making a squid farm, Ooh, if this, the land will render in, right down here. There's a really good spot for squid right here. You see that? They spawn in droves in this little river, and it's amazing. So I'm going to build a squid farm right here, and also uh, a glow lichen farm. I'll probably throw a quick glow lichen farm together. And after that, I should have all the materials I need to build my volcano. It's going to be great. <laughs> I've made a bit of an AFK platform up here and sat here for, um, I'm not sure how long, but let's go see how the farm's done. All right, so the reason I made four segments is because this is a pretty wide river, actually. This is not an ideal river uh, in which to make a squid farm, usually, but I made it work. See, I made it that long so that when standing up there, all of this and all of that section are in the sphere of the spawning of the stuff. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, the <laughs> Let me try this, that again. These two sections uh, are fully within the spawn sphere, so squids will spawn, and the other two are partially in it, and I only had to place a little bit of dirt. I mean, it, it was actually kind of a lot of dirt um, over here in order to make sure we don't get any squid spawns over here. But for the most part, we had to keep kind of the integrity of the river. But anyway, we've got four axolotls in each one. Some of them, are they all grown up? Oh no! Wait, no, that, yep, they're all grown up. Um, but yeah, so these two uh, will produce a little less than the other ones, so let's take a peek in here. 
There we go, a stack and a half. And let's look in the other one. Yep, yep. A uh, little parkour. Oh, yeah. Almost four stacks of ink sacks. Like I said, I don't remember how long that was. Uh, I'll, I'll have to be a little bit more scientific about it if I want to see just how fast this farm is. But it is producing a whole bunch of ink sack, as well as salmon. I don't really need salmon, but there it is. And with that, um, if I grab a little bit more bone meal out of this chest in here. All right, so I've got a bunch of gray dye. Oh, and not any inventory space. Hold on. Terracotta is dyed. Concrete powder is crafted. And that is just about everything I need to build my volcano. It's gonna be coming together very, very soon. I've got my blackstone, my basalt, my terracotta, my concrete powder, all my miscellaneous stuff, and my temporary blocks, uh, netherrack. I like netherrack as a temporary block because you can insta mine it really easily. <laughs> and uh, I have a lot of it. So that makes it a good temporary block in my book. Hey, oh. Hey, <laughs> you wanted to meet right. with me? Yeah. Um, uh, let's go. Let's go to the frog light farm. Wow. What's up? There's no walls. No, there are walls. Sure? Yeah. Are you sure the frog? The, it's yeah? glass. Right. Oh. Yeah. That's a problem. Oh, is it? I see that. Oh. What? Oh, what sorry. was that? <laughs> okay, I, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I'm I, sorry. I I, I, I I traveled realms. Yeah. And it there was a side effect from visiting one of them. Oh. Huh. Okay. Uh, Have well... you ever been outside this realm before? Um. Maybe. Kind of, yeah. Eh. Why not just? Well, I just, I just want to look at the floor right here because we've got one frog in there. Should we check out how how it's doing so far? Uh. Yeah. How is it? Whoa. Wow. That's a I lot. I have an AFK in here, really. You? No, I haven't. I haven't even gone up there since I built it. <laughs> so this is this is Oh and a bunch passive. of magma cream too. Yeah. This this is passive farming from us walking through the nether. Wow. Yeah, oh my goodness. That we still need to I still need to get the uh That is a hard working frog right there. <laughs> I still need to get the warm and cold biome frogs. Yeah. The problem is they don't like Actually the this this is a warm biome frog. Oh, so I need the cold and neutral The temperate, frogs. yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you need leads? Leads? Yeah. Uh, I've got a few leads. No, I crafted up some leads the other day. Alright. Because they follow pretty follow. well with the... With the leads. Well, then you're just oh, lucky look at they that. don't follow me. Mm -hmm. Look at... They're, they're all in a line. Oh yeah, we've got perfectly synced minecarts. Nice. So I've actually noticed something huh. when it comes to the minecarts, because I was watching them on the mini map when there is no one else in the nether, they desync. Yeah. But when there are people in the nether, they seem to sync up. Huh. Interesting. I was wondering why they uh desync and sync up again. Wow. All right. Well, cool. All right, well, yeah, I'll get you the rest of those frogs. Thanks for getting this built. Yeah, thanks for getting the frogs. We'll get the roof on pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be really useful. Frog lights are a, cool, a nice light source still. Yeah. 
definitely be helpful in my library. Yeah. All right. Well, see you around. See you around. All right, so it's been a few days. terranor has got the other two frogs in here. You see the green one over there, orange one over there, white one's still in here. And it seems like one frog of each is plenty because we're getting, I just afk up there for about half an hour and we got over seven stacks of each light in that time. And you see we've already got a whole bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm being quiet because I'm staying with my aunt and uncle and uh, the kids are asleep. So, shh, shh, shh. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I've been the Amateur Pretzel. Thank you for watching and stay hydrated. Bye.